In this video, I'm going to show you some of the games I use to help kindergartners build their number sense. I'll also show you how to get the most math out of these games when it is time to play. Number sense is the ability to understand, relate and connect numbers. For visualizing skills, I like to use tiny polka dot cards and blink. I like tiny polka dot cards because it is really a child friendly deck of cards with so many ways to play. In the box are 6 suits of cards with dot patterns from 0 to 10. You'll also get game instructions with suggestions. For practicing supertizing, I suggest the dot memory games. If you play with 3 suits, we can look for 3 cards with the same number of dots or quantities. This is a great way to encourage kids to look at the cards and see the dots without counting. I'm Leanne, teacher turned stay home mom, and I've taught kids for almost 20 years. I help parents have fun while teaching their kids early academic skills they need. So if this is something you're interested in, consider subscribing. I'll post links to all the games and more. Don't forget to check out the description box below after the video. Still on supertizing, in Blink, you have to get rid of all your cards by matching color, symbol, or quantity. For learning, we play a slower version of the game, but we are still playing by the rules to match. This is a great thinking game that starts to have kids work on flexible categorization. If you're looking for more ideas on how to encourage kids to have strong mental images of quantities, be sure to check out this video on how we taught our kids to recognize quantities 6 to 10 at a glance. We want to encourage kids to think of the relationships between quantities and their numbers. Where does something place along a number line? With too many monkeys, there are 6 doors that we have to line up in correct order. But the catch is that all the doors are closed, so kids have to remember their ordinal placement without help from the numerals. Now, for Rat Attack Cat, the goal is to be the player with the lowest sum. But you can't see what numbers on your card because they're all face down. However, with the younger set of players or those playing for the first few times, we play with our cards open or limit the number of cards that we use. That way, children can focus simply on figuring out which numbers make the smallest sum together. One. Yeah, I had one. I'm gonna have zero and zero. If kids are further along, I also like to use Rummy Cub. This game is about building number order. But what I like about it is that kids have to move around number tiles in order to place all their tiles in the correct order in the playing area. Sometimes they make sets of three first in order to start laying the tiles or they break the number line to gain tiles to make a set. This game is a great demonstration of how numbers are symbols that can be manipulated. An important concept to understand in algebra. Hey, if this has been helpful to you so far, make sure to click the like button. The next thing to consider in number sense development is identifying and extending patterns. For now, we start with images, but that pattern recognition will follow through on numbers later on. For example, in multiplication tables. One of my favorites is Quirkle, because it is really a set of tiles that you can use in a, such a variety of ways to introduce the game to your kids. At its core, kids have to match tiles either by shape or by color across the row or down the column. But for starters, you already have a great set of manipulatives to build endless patterns. And of course, you can definitely scale up to full play competitiveness. The other versatile game is Cubits Jr. You have 16 cubes with six different sides. The game comes with cube plates and 60 different pattern cards. It's great for spatial reasoning, pattern identification, and attention to detail. When I introduce it to the young ones, we play with the cubes and make patterns and pictures they can follow first. Later on, I introduce the pattern cards. Back to number sense. I want kids to be familiar with working with unknowns and feel comfortable manipulating them. So these games I'm going to share with you give the kids the practice of estimating and learning how to make informed guesses. Haber's Rabbit Rally and Melissa and Doug's Suspend Junior are great games to do this. I've picked these two because they also cover distance and weight that is something rarely addressed in other games. In Rabbit Rally, you are a rabbit trying to cross a body of water to get the carrots by balancing lengths of wood on your rocks. You have six lengths to use but you are limited by the colour you roll. 
After you roll, but before you pick up the bridge, you have to make your best estimate of how far or near to place one rock from the other to maximize the length of the bridge in the correct direction you want to go. Now the key to achieving playing with unknowns is to make sure you're only looking at the bridges before determining your length. Make sure not to touch the bridges until your rock is down. We've also upped the challenge by making the distances longer and placing obstacles along the way. Suspend Junior from Melissa and Doug uses soft, flexible, color-coded rocks that have more grip and give than the metal ones in the regular version. You determine which rod you need to balance with the spinner. This way, kids have lots of opportunity to figure out balancing and counterbalancing. The structure is never the same, so it's very exciting. Check out the videos listed in the description box on using games to teach kids and I can't wait to see you in a future one.